All right then, so we've uh, gone and played with a little mini hydro generator. I'll link that other video for you. Let's pull it apart and see what's inside and see if we can gauge an idea on how they actually work. Screwdriver's way too fine in the point. I have to go this way. Alrighty, so we've got our screws in then. We've got an O-ring and then just the wires coming out of that part. Oh, and this next part comes out. A little turbine, so it must be um, stationary inside, permanent magnet outside. Why it appears in here, I can't get any decent specs off the um, website I bought it off on actually what, what the deal is with it. There's just no ring each side, sealing it in, and then about five or six mil thick plastic walls same thing on the rest of it um, you're kind of restricted by the inlet hole size you could probably upsize it but it's obviously made as a jet as you can see there and then the outlet size is much bigger to get the water away from it probably not going to be the best thing to have too high of an inlet and outlet pressure to um, so you're having it in line on your mains water on your house I'm going to get hold of one of the um, 5 volt DC ones one of the ones that are supposedly rectified um, but uh, in the meantime I'll build a little rectified bridge for this and uh, see if we can't get a couple hundred milliamp hours out of it at 13.8 volts say to charge lead acids or put it into all that acid and then use the lead acid battery to charge some lithiums I guess so pretty happy with the way it sealed it it certainly didn't leak or anything when we were uh, testing it goes together fairly easy like so and then up there again uh, the threads are half inch BSP and uh, yeah, I guess that's about all there is to it. Um, I bought this off Geek, which is the uh, site powered by Wish. Um, come from China, I believe. Took forever to get here. I looked at it, blew some air through it with the compressor, heard it whiz, and that was all I did with it to begin with. But uh, as you can see there, it doesn't appear that any of the bearings or anything are exposed. Um, to the actual water going through. Seems like it's all well water sealed up and because it's a uh, stationary center and rotating external um, it probably provided quite a decent service life. It's obviously not going to kick out a huge amount of power but uh, there's nothing stopping you from putting five of them in a line for that matter either. So uh, down the track we'll probably end up doing that I'll get hold of a 5 volt one and we'll make a uh, high output 5 volt charger that we can charge a uh, 18650 bank with thanks for watching guys thanks for subbing I appreciate it any questions about it drop them down below otherwise have a good day